Crazy people are always passionate to do many kinds of design, including concept design. Today, you are going to learn how to create a concept design using double exposure techniques in Photoshop. This design can also be used for creating movie posters. So before we start the tutorial, let's have a quick look at the output that we are going to create. So let's have a look here. Hello welcome to my channel this is Jupe and today you are going to learn how to create a concept design using double exposure in Photoshop. Why I choose double exposure do you have any idea? Because many of you guys requested in my comment box that you guys want more videos on double exposure. So here's the video for you. So before we start the tutorial I would like to ask you please do subscribe my channel because a lot more videos are lined up in my channel so let's quickly start the tutorial so why i'm showing this video is uh, because this video is uh, uh, one of the teaser of my short film uh, namely dear follower so actually we are taking stills from this video to create the concept design so if you want to see this video uh, with the audio uh, you can uh, see that in the description box so uh, we will be selecting some pauses from this video to make the concept design in Photoshop so quickly we'll start it I want a uh, pause from here say this position as you kick the bottle so I want this uh, I'll just okay I want this purse okay I took this and uh, you know that uh, how to take the tag snapshot in we'll take snapshot we got it and the next still I want it from uh, here I want this purse so I just select this video take snapshot so we go two stills from this uh, video and we'll be moving to Photoshop to, so we have to make something like we have to make the design like this and this can be used as a film poster this can be used for any kind of uh, design that we see here we are using double exposure techniques and all other techniques that I described in the introduction okay so I'll be selecting the raw still images for this design so we have this much of images here so first i'm taking uh, this one okay so this is the master image uh, means this is the main image where i'm going to create this so i'll be just drag and drop this here okay we got it and this is uh, if you can just so uh, this i placed it on the exact position okay now uh, okay so uh, now close this okay so here I have to remove the background uh, so quickly I will be doing this using the quick selection tool just select okay and we need to use uh, refine so refine smart radius and just uh, use it here Okay, and we'll be selecting the inner area we actually need the reverse area so select inverse and delete this one so we got the background okay so now we don't need this and this is the area where we are actually going to work okay so um, select deselect okay so we got the main image I'll be taking a copy of this by duplicating as a backup and we need it for so many times so this is there now what we are going to do is I'm going to import our city image so this is the city okay so I just drag it over here okay so I did here I'm just using the clipping mask techniques to 
double expose this with this image so just right click clipping mask so this is here so we can actually move this accordingly and I just want to scale this a little bit so I did free transform okay maintain aspect ratio and just scale it now what I am going to do is uh, I have to mask this at the end okay so use the mask technique okay mask technique and brush I'll be just masking it here so for masking we need the black color so I am swapping this okay I'll be masking this in the end so that the shape of the artist is not and we need the shape of the artist so we need to mask in the end okay and here we don't need this so I'll be masking this area completely and here it is I'll be masking this area and all. okay so this is fine and part time to do is I'm going to add a linear door chart here so this will be like this or uh, we can try with uh, so many layer blending methods so now i'm going to import another image so i am opening this image and uh, in this image before i'm bringing this image to there i just make a patch of this so we can have the clone tool uh, or uh, we can use this tool also patch tool so just drag this and move this towards here okay and here also a little bit it has gone okay so we passed this and I'm just dragging this image to here so we got it like this and I need to mask this the same method which I use it so so we can try the masking in different way uh, so I masked up to here and I will see how this come after I changing the layer blending chowl so this will come like this um, uh, overlay is fine so uh, let me move this a little bit uh, down so like this and I am just increasing the size of this image a little bit uh, you want you can just increase the size of the image little in the aspect ratio and just increase the size I, I just don't want this bottle to come out of this image so uh, this will be like this okay now I am opening uh, the background image uh, which actually I need as uh, this one will be the background image okay I just drag and drop here okay uh, so this actually came as the clipping mask here so we don't need the clipping mask for this particular image so just right click and release the clipping mask okay uh, so this will be in the back okay so this is uh, this will be using here 
we need to scale it a little bit okay so temporarily i just open this for the time being i'm just disabling this because we need to do further more for this see so we are just creating a new layer here okay and here i am actually just applying a gradient uh, a normal gradient okay with the radial direction so i'm just apply the grid here uh, the reverse order I use this background here okay and uh, let me scale this little bit but transform scale okay to be here here okay and now uh, let me just overlay this with this uh, I think linear door chat is fine here yep. now what we have to do is we have to use a foreground image so I just made a backup so I am using this here above this Save all this okay so and uh, I have to mask this a little bit and uh, just use the gradient tool to mask So before uh, making uh, changes to the layer transparency mode, I'll be opening uh, the foreground image for this. Okay, I've got it, and I'll be just drag and drop this from here to here. Okay. Now we need to bring this uh, here. Okay and uh, i need to mask this use the blast tool and just drag it and i need a radial masking so okay i kept it like this uh, and mask and all things you can change it accordingly as per your wish so for this i am actually applying overlay uh, for this actually i am applying linear dot chat so that will give more uh, brightness and here i am applying overlay let me see how it will work uh, or if you're using multiplayer this will be like this or if you're using a uh, hard line this will be more like this and if i'm using hard light here it will be like this so it will be more uh, brighter so if you want uh, that is also good um, so i'll be using hard light and this will be uh, overlay okay this will be linear door chat so it is more brighter here i can see a little bit of his face uh, and i have that glow here and uh, if you want you can move the sun a little bit higher so it will be more uh, here so accordingly you can change it at any time and we actually done uh, this posture so now what we can do is uh, we need to make some color correction to make this more attractive so here i am just using uh, an adjustment layer and i'll be applying vibrance so that we'll be getting more uh, color pixels over here so this is uh, vibrant i will be making it as uh, 85 okay so saturation we don't want to increase but vibrance is there and if you want to give some other kind of um, uh, color lookup or so i'll be just applying the color lookup here from uh, color lookup okay so we can try a uh, different color lookups available here so red blue yellow is the one which I used in the original image so I'll be fixing red blue yellow so we have um, 
different color tones we interaction is the saturation everything is there. so this is the final output which is exactly like this and i think uh, we've made better uh image so let's have a full screen look of this uh i'll be pressing f so you'll be getting in a full screen view and yeah we got it so this is the final output that we have made so that was the concept design that we created using double exposure techniques so guys if you have any comment on my video please do the comment in the comment box and please like and share my video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do the subscribe right now what tutorial of photoshop you want in my next video you can comment it in the comment box and i will make the video according to your requirement so i will see you in the next video till then bye